Hey you guys, welcome back. It's late at night here. Um, I'm still not feeling well. I thought I was getting better. I keep thinking I'm getting better and then I take several steps back, but um, I'm going to the doctor in the morning finally, unfortunately. And uh, hopefully things will um, improve. But I wanted to come into the studio tonight to record a restorative class uh, specifically for respiratory illness. Uh, we're all so concerned about what's going on right now. I have asthma, so it's, it's a concern for me. Um, so I thought we could do this class just to kind of help settle the breath, so to speak. Um, we all need that. I need that especially. But um, I'm playing the music tonight because it is a restorative class. I hope that turns out. Again, trial and error. We'll see what happens. going on the mental body observe the mental body the physical body the spiritual body the breath body Allow yourself to be here. Give yourself permission to be here. And remember tonight to love you, love your practice, love your practice for what it was yesterday, for what it will be tomorrow, and most importantly, love it for what it is right now, giving you, teaching you, showing you right here in this moment.
And I'm not going to talk a lot this evening because I really want you all to kind of release and soften, melt, relax into the asanas, the poses. I really want this to be a restorative class and I'm hoping that my first responder friends pay attention to this class because you all need this more than any of us do. So again, as we go through the practice tonight, continue to observe the mental body. Notice what's happening in the physical body. Feel the breath, the complete breath, the in-breath and the out-breath. And feel that joy, that spirit within, that joy, that spirit, that peace, that calm that is always there. Sukhasana, I'll be right back. I'm going to turn the lights down. I can't get into this with these bright lights. See me now. Sorry for that interruption. Go ahead and bring your right hand or your dominant hand really in front of the face. You can always support the elbow with the opposite hand. Alternate nostril breathing, Nadi Sudhi or Nadi Shodhana, Pranayama, generally is not this, but I like to do this mudra with the three, the index, the middle, and the ring finger touching the palm and extending my pinky and my thumb because for me this is more comfortable. So you're going to bring that hand in front of the face and we'll move through this alternate nostril breathing. So take a couple of deep breaths before even touching the face. And then on the next inhale, inhale completely. And on the exhale, close the left nostril. Inhale through the right. Close the right. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Close the left. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right, close the right, exhale through the left. Inhale through the left, close the left, exhale through the right. Continue this Nadi Sudhi Pranayama, this Nadi Shodhana Pranayama, this alternate nostril breathing. For several rounds, find your rhythm. Find what feels good for you. This is a great way to settle the nervous system. And as you do this, a little fun fact, not really fun, but for those of us with asthma or 
just generally with respiratory issues. It's a tough time of year, not only with COVID, but also with our allergies. Asthma can cause a lot of anxiety, as can any breathing issues, any kind of respiratory illness. The nervous system's automatic responses to an asthmatic attack can be debilitating. The effect of restorative yoga can help prevent or mitigate the anxiety producing responses of the nervous system when they are triggered, thereby reducing the severity of asthma attacks when they occur. So I will share a little, again, way too much personal information for everybody, but it dawned on me recently that I didn't know if I was having asthmatic issues or anxiety issues. And what I have found is that they go hand in hand. So the nervous system for somebody with anxiety or maybe asthma, you, you go into this automatic fight or flight and that can be really debilitating when the body, the nervous system continues to do that over and over and over again, whether you're driving a car, reading a book, out for a run, it doesn't matter. The body goes into a fight or flight. And that's what I've learned through all of my yoga training um, is that we can really start to change the parasympathetic, the sympathetic nervous systems. Um, we want them to do what we want them to do. We don't want to go into fight or flight. So maybe this practice tonight will help you kind of navigate through any respiratory issues, allergy issues, um, fight or flight issues, it doesn't matter. So with that being said, have a chair next to you if you can. I'm gonna come off of my meditation pillow and go ahead and extend the right leg forward here. You can flex the right foot, it doesn't really matter because this is a restorative class, we're gonna really settle into these poses as best we can. So when you're ready, just lay the hands and the forehead down on the chair. The left foot is drawn into the inner thigh of the right leg. Just find a comfortable position and let the body settle here. And if you want to go deeper, you always can. You can bring in a bolster and rest the head, the hand. You can always bring the bolster up to this upright position and rest the forehead.
gonna turn this down as I talk. You can inhale to lift back up. We'll switch sides. Again, if you're using the chair, extend that left leg. Bring the right foot into the left. And just find a comfortable position for the upper body. Maybe rest the head on the chair, maybe on the hands. Again, you can bring in the bolster, if that feels better. And from here, go ahead and lift back up, extend both legs forward again. You can use your chair, just rest the forehead. You can stack the hands, rest the forehead on the stacked hands. And bring in a bolster at whatever height you need it to be. You can widen the legs and bring it to this angle, this 45 degree angle. Rest the head. Just find your restorative Paschimottanasana, the seated forward fold.
And again, I'm using a bolster here, but you can use stacked pillows, stacked blankets, whatever is comfortable. ahead and come out of the pose. Bring this bolster under the length of the body or again stack pillows, blankets. Draw the chair closer. I can do this. Come up onto the bolster and again <laughs> you're going to have to adjust as necessary. Rest the legs on the chair. Doesn't really matter how this looks. Maybe the hands go wide here. Open up that chest and heart space. With each full breath, continue to release and soften and settle into the pose. Let the hands and the feet go. And if you're not comfortable, you can see my neck is kind of, you know, my head is tilting back. You can see my pelvis is kind of dropping down, or at least my bum is. You can use two bolsters, the length of two bolsters, so that the entire body is just lying straight on something, flat on something, with all of our natural curves. of the spine, I mean. Mm -hmm. 
You can stay here if this feels good. You can also come off of the bolster. Lie down flat on the back on the mat. And again, if it feels good, open the arms wide. Adjust the chair as needed. And I don't have one here, but you can always have a blanket under the head. You can also put a blanket over the pelvis. Actually, you all stay here, I'm gonna do that. And from here, just slide over to your wall, if you can. Bring the hip to the wall. And again, you can always keep your blankets handy. Send the legs up the wall. Bring the blanket to the pelvis, maybe underneath the head. You can extend the arms wide again.
all can stay in the pose for just a few more moments. start to come out of the great Akrani legs up the wall. If you have a chair, you can set that aside. And go ahead and bring the pillows, the blankets back in under the back. Again, have a blanket handy. And you can move into this pose in whatever way it feels comfortable. The legs can always be extended here. You can always bend the knees, setting the soles of the feet up on the mat. You can always have a blanket again over the pelvis. And if this is too intense, too much of a back bend, just come out of it, maybe lessen the height or the thickness of whatever it is you're laying on. Maybe adjust whatever is under you so that it feels comfortable. You can always bring the soles of the feet to touch here, allow the knees to fall wide. Doesn't matter, just find your comfortable, restorative pose. And try to release and soften wherever you are. Because my back is hurting me currently, I'm going to remove the prop and for a moment just come into this bridge pose. 
if my knee isn't going to give out on me. So the heels are just past the bum, hips width distance. So imagine that yoga block between the legs. And send the bum, the hips, the pelvis up toward the ceiling. I'm only moving my feet a little bit further away because my knee isn't so much pain. And go ahead and lower down. Pause for a moment, bring the knees to touch, allow the feet to go wide in constructive rest. And then when you're ready, bring the soles of the feet to touch, allow the knees to go wide in Supta Baddha Konasana, this reclined bound angle. Again, bring a blanket over the pelvis here. And maybe reach the arms overhead. Maybe not completely, just let them relax. At any point, the knees being wide, Supta Baddha Konasana becomes too much. Just go ahead and draw the knees back toward one another. Maybe extend the legs out into Shavasana. any time in this reclined bound angle, you can bring in blocks or blankets or pillows to support the legs here. And from here, grab the pillows, the blankets, the bolster, place it under the legs. 
relax the legs. Again, find that blanket for the pelvis. Allow the hands to go wide. You can have a blanket under the head, maybe an eye pillow for final relaxation. Find your resting pose, your Shavasana position, whatever that might be. Stay here, I'm gonna come out of the pose. And again, start to observe what's happening in the mental space, the physical space. Notice what's happening with the breath, body. that joy, that spirit within that is always there, always was there, always will be there. Come back to the breath, feel the breath flowing into and out of the body. Stay here as long as you'd like. Pause the video, but really focus on the breath. Maybe count the inhalations, count the exhalations. Feel the belly and the chest rise with the inhale. Feel the fall with the exhale. Continue to slowly and gently deepen the breath and then stay in Shavasana or roll onto your favorite side, pausing for a moment with the head at the crook of the elbow. Today, listen carefully to the ways in which you speak to yourself. So you can examine your inner conversation. Ask yourself, is it helpful, is it honest, is it kind, or is it defeatist, dishonest, or critical? It is possible to change your inner conversation. First listen, notice, and even record the things you hear yourself thinking about yourself and about others. Try spending a day taking note of your thoughts. At the end of the day, look at your patterns, what is helpful and what is damaging. Decide to rid yourself of whatever is dragging you down. Hold on to what is serving you, what buoys you up, and what elevates others. Cultivating your inner voice so that it uplifts your inner and outer life is a transformational practice. We'll meet in Sukhasana, comfortable, easy seat. Bring the hands to heart center. Acknowledge that you showed up on your mat. Never take this for granted. In 
and Susan, more importantly, what will you take with you when you leave? Bring your hands to the center of the forehead in honor of mindful thought, to the lips in honor of mindful speech, and back down to prayer center, always be mindful of love, kindness, compassion, and empathy for yourself first and then for all others. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be safe, and may you live with ease. Let us bow to one another. As we say, namaste. Namaste, yogis and friends. I love and miss you all. I hope these videos, albeit technologically challenged and amateur videography, I hope that they're helping you stay a little bit sane through all of this nonsense. I love you all. Good night. Namaste.